Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you our easy holiday biscuit recipe. This is so simple. We make this for every major holiday. We had this at Thanksgiving and we're going to make it again for Christmas. I adore this recipe because it's easy to whip together. You also can make our mushroom gravy and serve it on top. My husband likes to cut his open with some jam. Really so many different ways you can include this in your holiday season. So I really hope you guys will stay tuned and watch the video until the end. And also subscribe because I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, multiple times a week, that the entire family will enjoy. These will be a hit in your household for people that are whole food plant-based or not. They're nice and soft and delicious, and I really hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys at the end for a taste test. In a large bowl, go ahead and add your flour. So here I have one cup of oat flour and one cup of whole wheat pastry flour. If you check out the show notes down below and on our website, I have some gluten-free swaps as well, but we really like it with this flour combination. Up next is half of a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. And all of the measurements, again, are down in the show notes and on our website. This is gonna make our biscuits rise a little bit and be on the flaky side, so I really love this combination of whole wheat to oat flour mixed in with everything else. All right, in went some nutritional yeast, and that's optional, and same with the dried rosemary and dried chives. You can play around with all of those three kind of seasonings to your biscuit recipe. I really find that this makes it very flavorful, um, and it's definitely been a family favorite, so I just have been making it this exact same way since we've created the recipe. You can toss all of that, and we're going to add in our wet ingredients. So one cup of cold, unsweetened applesauce goes in, and this is really going to let all the flowers incorporate in for it to become a dough. So again, that was one cup, and it's unsweetened and unflavored, just regular applesauce that I keep in the refrigerator for when I'm going to make our holiday biscuits. And then we also have some white miso as well. And you're just going to incorporate everything until the flour is mixed in and a dough forms. Super simple. And you can be creative with all of those spices, like I said. So change it up after you make it, maybe the original way. Or, or if you don't like a certain kind of spice we used, you can always play around with it and definitely make it a hit for your family. All right, it should come together with all of that wet ingredients. It just takes a minute. And I like to use my hands and really form a dough and it becomes really a beautiful, easy dough to work with. So if you're not a baker, give this recipe a try. It'll work, I promise. Once it comes together as a dough, you can use your hands to kind of fold and fold your dough in half and kind of rotate it and fold it again. This kind of lets your biscuits get a little bit more of a rise. So I really like doing this, I would say anywhere from five to six times before I'm going to roll it out and make our biscuits shapes. And then I actually have a biscuit cutter from a friend of ours that uh, was going through her things. So shout out to Susan if you're watching this. Um, and so I used this biscuit cutter we had. So mine are very large biscuits, but you can form them um, any shape that you'd like to use. And then once they're all formed out, you're going to pop these into the oven at 400 degrees. They're going to go in for six minutes. And then you're going to flip and rotate your um, baking dish and bake for another six minutes for a total of 12. So these are really fast too and really simple to make. And they come out these beautiful brown colors on the tops and bottoms since you flip them. They're nice and flaky and delicious. So I really hope you guys enjoy making these. It's a super simple recipe that I know the entire family is gonna enjoy. And make sure you tag us if you do make the recipes. We'd love to see them. And I know it's gonna be such a great addition to your holiday meal. I will see you guys at the end for a taste test, but Look at how beautiful these holiday biscuits turned out. And also your kitchen smells amazing when you make these. All right, diving into one of these already <laughs> while I was waiting for this video to upload, but it just is so soft. You could eat these plain, you can eat these with jam or almond butter, or you can even have these with gravy or a side of tofu scramble. We just love making this all different ways. It's nice and soft and flaky. Such a hit. So I really hope you guys enjoy making these. If you're not a baker, give it a try. It is so simple. And anyone can really make this recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys next time for our recipe video. 
But have a really nice holiday if I don't see you guys before that.